Hey, so I was considering what I was gonna do today in terms of food, and I realized that I hadn't done a video with tacos in it, and I love tacos. It's the most perfect meal. Um, you know, it's the kind of thing that can only be so big because tortillas are so only so big, and you can only put so much stuff in it, and you wanna put a bunch of different things if you can, or just one thing, it just, there's so many variations, and this is Central Texas. And Central Texas is all about breakfast tacos, and we're all about interior Mexican food, but we're also about Tex-Mex. So there's a lot of options. And this is a town full of options, especially when it comes to tacos. So I think today we're gonna have some tacos. But I'm trying to consider if I wanna have tacos from a place I've already eaten at, or tacos from a place I've never eaten at. I don't expect to be disappointed either way, but I am taking a chance on a place I've never been. So I'm just kind of considering this. It's getting about that time and my, my stomach is rumbling and it's time for me to put something in it, uh, my stomach. So yeah, that's it for now. I will come back later when I have some other things to say. So the other thing I wanted to add was that I tell people, people ask me all the time as an Uber driver and a local, like what's the best place? And I get it, you come from a place where there's only a handful of places, and so those handful of places, one of them has to be the best. What I tell everybody is this, when it comes to barbecue and tacos, okay, there is a ton of joints, right? There's so many places. There's so many barbecue places, and so many taco places, and Tex-Mex, and Mexican food, okay? Gauge it by what you think it is, right? You're not gonna be, you're hardly gonna be disappointed in only any place you're gonna go. But more importantly than that, you're going to, there's a reason that there's so many. Because they're all pretty good. And there's some that are better and maybe been around longer. But you know, it's kinda hard to be open and then try to sell food for a living. And then if you didn't have business or didn't have return business, you wouldn't make money and you would have to close. So, you know, I always say, look, check out the reviews online. You know, if a place has four stars or better, with 200 reviews or better, that's probably a good place, you know? Um, otherwise, just take a chance. And, you know, that's part of the discovery. It's not always gonna be perfect. When people ask for recommendations because they don't wanna take a chance. I say, screw it, take a chance. Um, take a chance. So I'm going to take a chance today, I think. We'll see. I have had a few almost where I almost had food, then I end up with a ride. So I'm trying to find a good time to just turn it off and go get something to eat. Um, but yeah, we'll continue. So I didn't get tacos yesterday. I ran out of time and just didn't, never made it to a place I wanted to go to. But today, different day, the next day, A, it's really cold. It's 40 degrees colder than it was yesterday. As you can tell, I'm wearing much more layers here. And I'm at the drive-in, drive-through of this place called El Taquito that, um, oh, see the radio was on, totally forgot about that. Uh, El Taquito, um, that we've been going to for many years. I've been going to it over 10 years. They have many locations. They have, actually, well, they have three that I know of. They have this one, which is a nice one. They have full bar, great. They have one down on Riverside, uh, which is uh, just a, I don't think they have a bar there, it's just food. I used to eat lunch there when I worked downtown. And then there's one um, right by my neighborhood. Uh, it used to be like a strip mall, uh, taco counter place. Uh, you should close at three. And they opened um, a larger building, full bar. Uh, closes to th at three most days of the week. And then I think on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, they're open till nine, or Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, they're open till nine. Um, great tacos, very interior Mexican. Okay, so this is straight up tacos. This is not Tex-Mex, this is not inventive stuff. This is the old school stuff. I got two tacos. One is a barbacoa, which is a barbecued meat, but typically uh, the, it's made from the cheeks, the cheek meats, cheek meat of calves. So really tender. Uh, and then I got a, uh, hold on, let me get my food here in a second. I can see her coming. Um, and then I got a al pastor, which is pork, um, like a, cooked in a red sauce, really good. Both of them come with uh, cilantro and onions and maybe some pineapple on the pastor to balance out the spiciness. Um, but yeah, just two tacos. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, there we go. 
so yeah, it's really cold outside. My hand, my hand got really cold just waiting for that. Um, I need to find my way out of here because there's a lot of construction. Um, but I'll come back when I decide to start eating the tacos. So I decided I'm in a very busy parking lot. Um, I do have my apps on to request a to accept a ride. This guy was supposed to stop there. Thanks for stopping. Um, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna park here somewhere and wait for my ride here, or just eat the tacos really quick. It won't take me very long. Uh, they're, they're not huge. They're just like on corn tortillas, which makes them much smaller. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's find a parking spot. Yeah, right over here is great. All right, so let's do this. Um, okay. So, it's, uh, yeah, we'll leave it. So, um, so yeah, so uh, two tacos. Uh, I'm going to roll them up right here. Let's go. Okay, nice little corn tortilla shell. This is the barbacoa. Okay, nice stewed meat. It's bar been barbecued. When I say barbecue, it's like cooked for a very long time over its low heat. Which is what barbecue is. And then it comes up, I got a little oops, little green oops, little green salsa. Okay. So in case you ever wonder, I'm always looking around. It's because I get nervous talking to myself in my car in a parking lot. People think I'm crazy. All right, so here we go. Now, the smell, I can smell everything so good. It's um, <laughs> making my mouth water, always. And uh, like I said, this is some good taco place, so I'm gonna give it a bite. Mm. Gosh, this is tender. The meat is like stewed texture, very delicious. Very delicious and um, just uh, really comforting. It's a flavor I'm really familiar with and um, it's delicious. The cilantro bits in there give it that little extra zing and uh, onions for chunkiness. Oh. The thing about tacos is, to me, is that there's so many taco places. And, you know, there are going to be a lot of tacos on this show, on this channel. Because I love tacos. Today is actually Tuesday, which, for me, means Taco Tuesday. Typically it means dinner tacos, and you don't just pick stuff up at the store to make tacos. But... I also tend to like find myself eating tacos anyways. Sometimes breakfast tacos, which we'll probably do next time. We we'll do tacos. And, um, uh, you know, there's, it's something I want to eat all the time. Not just on Tuesdays. But on Tuesdays, it prompts me to do it more often than not. Okay. This next one It's called the Al Pastor. Trompo. I'm not sure what they call it, trompo. But, like, good pieces of cooked pork bits. Again, on corn. Again, I'm going to put the sauce on it. Ooh. Okay. Let me close that up because it's dangerous to have it open. That's nice. Alright. So. I always think it's funny, too, when I'm sitting in a parking lot around cars that haven't moved in ages. And while I'm taking a video of myself, talking to myself about food, everybody comes to their car. Anyways, okay. Again on corn. A little bit of a different look there, right? Well, that's flavors I like. Spicy. Meaty. A little salt. Taste all those flavors cooked into that. Stewed into that meat. I can do sometimes to take a bite from a taco and then flip it around and take the other side. And then 
What do you have left? It's like a little care package. Hmm. Delicious. So, El Taquito, Sabor Mexico, which means food, Mexican food. And, um, So, yeah, so Sabor, Mexico, El Taquito, many, three, three locations that I know of, and um, good stuff, interior Mexican food, we have great, they have queso too, or they sell queso there, um, they do, um, like I said, margaritas, delicious mango margaritas, and uh, they're in north, south, and near the house, so all good. All right, well, uh, once again, another one down the drain. Um... Yeah, I, I I can't imagine, I can't believe that I'm still doing these. Um, I didn't think I would get this far in, but I'm seven, eight in, I think, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing these. So, um, see you next time. I love you. Have a good day.